So in this class, I am going to solve rectangular bar problem in stress strain theory. A steel bar of 300 mm long, 50 mm wide, and 40 mm thick is subjected to pull of 300 kilonewton in direction of its length. Determine the change in volume. Take Young's modulus E is equal to 2 into 10, 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square. And Poisson's ratio mu is equal to 0 0.25. Here uh, there is a steel bar, and the steel bar is having rectangular cross section. So there is a steel bar. Let's draw the diagram. This is a steel bar, and the steel bar is having rectangular cross section and given some dimensions the steel bar of 300 mm long so length of the steel bar is 300 mm length of the steel bar is 300 mm And width and thickness are also given. So here width is how much? 50 mm and thickness T. How much is given? 40 mm. 40 mm thickness. So the steel bar is having rectangular cross section. Okay. So this is the diagram. And so what is the given data? So here steel bar is rectangular steel bar is subjected to axial pull. So it is subjected to axial pull. So that load is uh, applied in axial direction along the length. So here axial pull P is equal to 300 kilo newton. And due to this axial pull, length of the rectangular bar increases. And uh, here I didn't mention anything about uh, change in length. So we, ha we have to find uh, the change in length. Only original length, is all, uh, original length is given. But anyhow, here we need to find change in volume. So here we need change in volume. So first of all write given data. So length of the bar is equal to 300 mm width 50 mm and thickness 40 mm subjected to axial pull so the load value 300 kilo newton and even some data Young's modulus is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square and given Poisson's ratio mu is equal to how much is given? 0 0.25 or 1 by 4 0 0.25 or 1 by 4 here we need to find change in volume here basic idea is rectangular bar is subjected to axial pull along its length or longitudinal direction. In longitudinal direction, we apply axial pull of 300 kilo newton. So due to this axial pull, there will be a change in length, diameter and volume. Here we need to find change in volume. So in case of rectangular bar, 
if rectangular bar is subjected to axial pull or load in one direction that is uh, here specifically in a, a longitudinal direction along its length volumetric strain e epsilon v volumetric strain epsilon v ev means volumetric strain e suffix v epsilon v is equal to longitudinal strain into 1 minus 2 mu 1 minus 2 mu so this is the formula for volumetric strain for a rectangular bar when it is subjected to axial pull along longitudinal direction ok now so longitudinal direction lo ni load apply chest ok rectangular bar ki change in volume emo thun nette man ki epsilon l into 1 minus 2 mu here mu is poisons ratio here mu means poisons ratio poisons ratio So, anyhow, uh, here first of all, uh, we need uh, volumetric strain because volumetric strain is equal to why we are calculating epsilon v? Epsilon v in the calculate shall because volumetric strain is equal to change in volume by original volume. So, we need change in volume delta v is equal to epsilon v into transpose v, division becomes multiplication. So, epsilon v into capital V. Okay. So, first we need to find straight volumetric strain. From volumetric strain, we can find a change in volume. Okay. Now, let us solve uh, volumetric strain first. And anyhow, volume. So, we know that volume of rectangular bar is equal to L into W into T. So, length into breadth into thickness or length into width into thickness. In a way, you given all the parameters, all the values of LWT. So first of all, uh, find volume. So, volume find out. Chedda. Volume is equal to length into width into thickness. You given all values, all dimensions. Dimensions are never question each other. So, substitute values, same as the length, 300 mm into width, 50 mm. 50 mm and thickness 40 mm ok now simplify this so here how many zeros 1 2 3 4 so 10 to the power of 4 3 fives are 15 15 fours are 60 so 60 into 10 to the power of 4 uh, mm into mm into mm mm cube so volume is equal to 60 into 10 to the power of 4 mm cube so here we need volumetric strain. So EV is equal to epsilon V is equal to longitudinal strain into 1 minus 2 mu. So mu is already given. So mu how much? Mu is equal to 1 by 4. Here we need longitudinal strain. So according to Uppsala, Young's modulus formula into Young's modulus is equal to stress by strain. Stress by strain. So, since uh, here rectangular bar is subjected to axial pull or the load along longitudinal direction, okay now we consider longitudinal strain, okay now. So, from this uh, equation, from this formula, longitudinal strain is equal to, so the transport just the amount and the division becomes multiplication. So, longitudinal strain into Young's modulus is equal to stress. Again, transpose Young's modulus. You will get longitudinal strain is equal to stress by Young's modulus. Again, what is stress? So, stress is equal to resistance force by area or load by area. Load by area. So, cross sectional area of the bar. So, here load P by cross sectional area of the rectangular bar P by AC. Okay. Now substitute uh, sigma is equal to P by AC here. You will get epsilon L is equal to longitudinal strain is equal to in place of sigma P by AC load by cross section area by Young's modulus. Okay. So denominator into numerator AC into E. P by AC into E. E suffix C into E. 
AC means cross sectional area of rectangular bar, E means Young's modulus. So in place of epsilon L, we can substitute P by AC into E. So this is the substitution. Now we have to move the volume of extreme. EV is equal to epsilon L is equal to P by AC into E. Into 1 minus 2 mu. Now using this formula, we can find volumetric strain. Load is already given, 300 kilo newton. We have to find cross section area. And Young's model is already given, mu is already given. So what about cross section area? So since it's a rectangular bar, cross section area is equal to given rectangular bar dimensions, width and thickness. So here. Width how much? Width 50 mm and thickness 40 mm each other. Substitution just the most in the key width into thickness. Here we should consider cross sectional area. Okay now. So dimension same this call width thickness. Okay now. Because we are calculating cross sectional area. It's a rectangular cross sectional area linked to the rectangle. The cross section is rectangular cross section. So rectangle area formula width into thickness. So 50 mm into 40 mm. So 50 mm into 40 mm. Okay. So you will get how much? 50 mm into 40 mm. 2000 mm square. So area is equal to 50 into 40 mm. So 2000 mm square. Okay. Now volumetric strain. Volumetric strain is equal to. So what is the formula? First write the formula. P by cross sectional area into Young's modulus into 1 minus 2 mu. Now replace all values. Load is how much? 300 kilo newton. Convert it into newton. Kilo means 10 q. Okay. So 300 into 10 q newtons by area. Area 2000 mm square into Young's modulus. You give me how much Young's modulus? 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square newton per mm square so p into 1 minus 2 mu so 1 minus 2 into poisons ratio 1 by 4 ok now newton newton mm square mm square get cancelled so volumetric strain has no units so units same and okay i can cancel it so units same and okay no units strain the units and okay it has no units now, write the value, simplify further, just simplify further, 300 into 10 Q into 2 1s, 2 2s, 1 minus 1 by 2, so 1 minus 1 by 2 means, 1 minus 1 by 2 means you will get 1 by 2, okay now, so full inch of the system only half a was 200 into 2 into 10 to the power of 5. Okay. So total 1, 2. So here 3 zeros. 10 cube means 3 zeros. Here again 2 zeros. So 10, 5 zeros. 5 zeros get cancelled. 10 power 5 means uh, it will have how many zeros? 5 zeros. Here 5 zeros. Here 5 zeros get cancelled. Here half is there. So 3 into 1 minus 1 by 2 and time is 1 by 2 by 2 into 2, 4. And 10 to 4, 4,000. So, <clears throat> 3 into 1 by 2, 3 by 2. By 4,000 can be written as 4 into 10 cube. So, you 10 cube pi cos same with 3 by 2 into 10 plus cube minus, I mean, 10 power 3 becomes 10 power minus 3. By so, a formula apply this and 1 by a power m is equal to a power minus m. So, by 4. Now, multiply denominator with numerator. 3 into 2 into 4, 8. Okay, now. So, 3 by 8 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 3. So 3 by 8 simplification just the monkey. 
just simplify this, you will get volumetric strain. So, 3 by 8. So, 0 0.081, 83 is 24. And reminder, 6, 30 minus 24, 6. Add 0, 8 ones and 8 sevens, 56. Reminder 4, add 0, 8 fives, 40. Reminder 0. So, 3 by 8 value, 0 0.375 into 10 to the power of minus 3. 0 0.375 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, this is the value of uh, volumetric strain. And, uh, so finally, we calculated volumetric strain. So volumetric strain and which number? Zero point three seven five ten to the power minus three. And volume of rectangular bar, sixty into ten to the power of four mm cube. So now apply change in volume formula. Change in volume is equal to volumetric strain into Initially, we discussed this formula. Change in volume, we the volumetric strain into original volume. Change in volume, 0 0.375 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, here, original volume, 60 into 10 to the power of 4 mm cube. So, if you multiply this, change in volume is equal to 0 0.375 into 60 into a power m into a power n a power m plus n so 4 plus of minus 3 plus into minus minus 0 0.375 into 60 into 10 to the power of 4 minus 3 4 minus 3 1 so into 10 so 60 into 10 600 0 0.375 into 600 so if you calculate you will get 225 mm cube so change in volume in rectangular bar is due to axial pull of six, uh, 300 kilo newton is 225 mm cube this is the final answer okay thank you